Oh sweet merciful god, why am I doing this again? Yo right, guys, this is Game Boy Luke here and welcome to Pokemon Blaze Black. We're back again to attempt at beating this game. This time around we're gonna be doing it as a randomizer. I don't think I've done it as a randomizer yet, but I, I, way back when my channel started when I had like 400 subs, I did a Nuzlocke of this game. I then went to Vault White and did an Elimination Lock, and then I asked for your guys' help and did a Vault White Egg Lock. And I lost all of them. Every single one of them. I just can't beat this game. It's super hard. Dreano, why? Why did you do this to me? Why? <laughs> so, today, I'm presenting to you Pokemon Blaze Black. We're going to be doing a randomizer Nuzlocke. Considering how many of you guys really enjoyed the randomizer Nuzlocke we just did on Pokemon Y. Uh, thank you all so much for the support in that series, by the way. You guys uh, really, really like that series, and you were asking me when you're going to do another randomizer Nuzlocke. So I thought, why not, why not just go and do another randomizer Nuzlocke rather than doing some other crazy lock type and just do this again? I mean, I've never done a randomized Nuzlocke on this game before, so why not? Let's, let's, let's do it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm honestly, well, I'm not excited. That's a lie. That's a complete bold faced lie. I'm scared and I'm worried that I can't do this game. And I'm telling you, there will be an incredible embrace when I actually beat this game. If I beat this game. But without further ado, <coughs> what the, what, Professor Juniper, is it Juniper? What, what voice do I give her? Like, I'm always really good at giving, like, the generic Professor Oak voice. Oh, hello, welcome back to the world of Pokemon, but... Female voice. Uh. <laughs> hey there! <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Mincino! G g g g great! That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers that come in many shapes and live live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. Oh, that's so cute! So when you send your Pokemon out and they're just like, Oh my god, your shirt matches your eyes today. And you're just like, Oh my god, I love your tail today, it's so fancy. We help each other and accomplish difficult tasks. Helping, having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular. And it deepens the bond between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. So people will just attack each other, other Pokemon, and that help strengthen the bond. Makes sense. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or am, am I a girl? Well, last time I checked, I was a boy. And then she'd like to know my name. It's kind of cute. You know, my first name basis right here. Uh, let's call myself. What my name is. That's, that's probably what I should do, right? Let's call myself Luke. That's my name. I already know. Actually, that's a good point. Actually, I've always forget to do this at the start of the series. Always forget to do this because obviously this is the start of a new series. And episode ones are usually the ones that YouTube pick out and put the front of like the search thingy. If you ever looked at this game and you found me. So hi, my name's Luke. Uh, my channel's name is Game Boy Luke because uh, I like the Game Boy. And I'm a Game Boy. Make sense? Cool. So that's, that's, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Well, then I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. And you're all suck at those games. I can't make a rival because I would totally get like Shady in on this and or Grant and put someone's name in here. But this young man is Sharon. He can be a little bit difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty. A little flighty. I never really thought about using the word flighty to describe someone, but but she works very hard. And I think you have potential. I'm going to give you a very very important Pokemon. That's where you guys are gonna come in. Look, the moment you chose, uh, you choose to put that Pokemon will accompany you on your journey. Your story will truly be a game. During your journey, you will meet many people and Pokemon with different personalities and points of views. I really hope you find what is important to all you, uh, to all you on these travels. That's right, befriend new Pokemon and people. Befriend new people and Pokemon. I always say it the wrong way, or the opposite way around, I don't know why. And grow as a person, that is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. So, this is obviously, this is obviously a randomizer. And what happens in randomizers is the starter Pokemon are typically randomized. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and pick my starter. I don't do what everyone else does because it's fun to do because I, I like not having control. That's a lie. I like having control. But giving you guys uh, control is uh, definitely much more fun. So we're definitely going to go ahead and let you guys choose my starter. So this episode is going to be like five minutes long, apparently. I completely forgot that we pick our Pokemon up right here because um, normally we go... I in Blaze Black 2, you normally go up the stairs and stuff and you do all your shin digs, but right here is where we find our Pokemon, so. Yo, Apple just came up and said, update must go away. <clears throat> now, I always give Sharon this voice. Sorry if you don't like it, but. I heard the Professor Juniper, I heard from Professor Juniper, we can have a Pokemon? Oh my goodness, what's he giving Bianca? Actually, you know what I want to give this guy? I've been watching Bleach recently, right? And Sharon gives off the Uryu vibe to me. Like the really, like, sort of, like, 
I give him the complete wrong voice, but like, uh, I, I would do like the, the, the Starbucks voice for this girl, but I know so many of you hate that voice so much. But it's like, when I sit here and think about names, I can never think of a name. I might give her like the Tentamon voice from Digimon. Tentamon! Am I a little late again? Sorry. Um, Bianca, I've known you for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I'm the last remaining Quincy. Respect that. I know, sorry Luke, sorry Sharon. That's just even more annoying. It's probably, so where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Luke's house, so let's get Luke gets first pack. <laughs> Naturally. Okay, so, the Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay Luke, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I like to say gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save him right here. I'm saving right here before I look at them. So like, when I come back and do this in like tomorrow or something, whenever with this video goes up, you guys are already gonna look at the comment section. I'll, I'll look at the comment section where to pick my Pokemon. So, what do we have here? We have oh, Professor Juniper. I brought three Pokemon, one for uh, one for you and each. Uh, oh my god, I can't speak. I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. <coughs> um. First choice, Pineco. Yeah. Second choice is Teddy Ursa. I'm not. I'm down with Teddy Ursa. I just know that Teddy Ursa's starting move set's really, really bad. My last one is David. Slow King. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm not really sure. How, hey, hey, B, pick me, pick me, B. So we have we have the we have the choice of Teddy Ursa, Pineco. And Slow King. Now, I want you guys to go ahead, start typing away in the comment section right now, and let me know which starter you want me to pick. Uh, you have the choice of Slow King, Pineco, Teddy Ursa. Now, I don't have a personal preference sat here saying I want to use this Pokemon. All I know is that Pineco would be a terrible, terrible Pokemon to start off with. So if you want to go ahead and just not type that, that would be great. I'd appreciate that. Uh, Slow King, I <laughs> mean. I'm down for having a final stage evolution as my starter Pokemon. Uh, and Teddy Ursa, I'm down for Teddy Ursa as well, because I know uh, uh, Ursa Ring is a really cool Pokemon. And obviously this is a Drowno ROM hack, so I'm assuming that um, Drowno took the liberty of, you know, making this thing's moveset better, hopefully. Uh, and then obviously Slowking is, 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 is also good. She's going to be good from the start, because it's Slowking and he's probably got some crazy starting moveset. But, I want you guys to go ahead, leave your comment down below which starter we want, or you want me to pick, and then I will report back, probably the day after this upload, or maybe the day after that, um, I want to get these uh, episodes out as soon as possible. And before I end the episode off, I want to do say, I do want to say, that I have uh, some stuff planned for the channel. Now that I'm back home and settled back in the UK, although for not for long, because PAX East is just around the corner, I do have a few series I have in mind. After visiting Shading, getting all this inspiration and motivation, I have a few ideas for channel series that I want to have soon. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy what you see, please do consider clicking that uh, subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. But with that being said, I think I'll see you guys in a couple days. And we'll be choosing our starter. See you guys then.